we're going to work on elapsed time. Elapsed time is when you have a start time and an end time, and you're trying to figure out how much time passes between the two. So let's say that school starts at 7.15. Well, that's the time I have to be here. And I can leave at 3.15. So if we want to see how many hours I work, how long I'm at Haley's school, you're going to figure out the difference between 7.15 and 3.15. So let me show you how we're going to do that. We're going to use a technique that is called mountains, hills, and rocks. It looks like this. So whenever we have a mountain that represents one hour and we draw it like it has a little peak because mountains would have the peaks. And then a hill is 10 minutes. And since hills aren't as big as mountains, we just draw that as like a little lump. And then the rocks represent one minute and that would be a circle. So we're going to draw out um, the time to see how much time has passed. So the first thing you're gonna need is the start time and we're gonna put that at the beginning here. So I'm gonna demonstrate one. If we have the start time as, let's see, we come back from, I come back from lunch at 11.55. So if we wanna see, and that would be a.m. If we wanna see how much time we have from after lunch until dismissal, that would be at 2.45 p.m. We can see how much time has passed here by doing mountains, hills, and rocks. That's start time, and we're gonna put it on a line like what you see here, kind of like a number line. So we're just going to draw a long line. We're gonna make sure we have room above it to draw the mountains, hills, and rocks, and room below it to label the time. So the start time goes at the very, very front, 11.55 a.m. All right, so now we're gonna see how many hours we can do without passing the end time, which is 2.45. So if I do one hour, this is the hour side, it would be go, oh, so 11, what's next? What's the next number? 12, so it goes 11 would go to 12. So that side moves to 12, but I keep 55. Would it still be a.m.? No, because that would be p.m., because that would be like lunchtime goes into the afternoon. All right, so can I do another hour? If I do another hour, what would it be, 13? Oh, there's no 13 o'clock. 12.55, one more hour would be 1.55, and that does not pass our end time. So I could do that. I'm going to label another mountain, and now it goes to 1.55. So that was the hour again, yeah. So what if I do another hour, what would I be at? With one hour past 1.55, it would be 2.55, but no, stop, we can't do that because that would go past our end time, because that's 2.45. So we're done with hours. We're gonna move on to the next thing, which would be hills. So now we're gonna add 10 minutes on until we can't add 10 minutes on anymore because we don't wanna pass our end time. So now we're gonna look at the minute side. We have 55, 55 would go to, let's see, 65, but that's not a thing in, in time. We don't have a 65, so what we need to switch to, oh, 05. That's a tricky one, but this would go to oh, 05, and what would the hour switch to? If it was 155, that would be 2.05 p.m. There's 10 minutes. Let's do another 10. That would make it what? Five goes to 10 more. And if you're not sure, you can pound and count it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would go to 215. What's next? Because we can't stop yet. We're not at 45 yet. So 10 more would be 225. Five, 15, 25. What would be next? 35, are we done? No, we're not done, we have to get to 45. So what would be next? 25, 35, one more would make 45. Notice I had to make my line a little longer. But now we've hit our end time. So our line has our start time and our end time. And then to figure out how much time has passed, we're just gonna count up our, our mountains by themselves and our hills by themselves. So how many mountains are there? One hour, two hours. 
So I'm going to write two hours. And then we're going to count our hills by what? By tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That would be 50 minutes. So the time that passes from after lunch until dismissal is two hours and 50 minutes of learning in the room, okay? Let's do a, just one more real quick in case that was confusing um, and we'll see if we can make it make a little more sense. So I'm just gonna make up some numbers this time. Let's do four, um, 12 p.m. is our start time and our end time will be 7 p.m. So the first thing you're going to do is draw that line. Give yourself enough room above and below it. Put the start time on the line. And then you're going to start with your mountains, with your hours. So see how many hours we can get, how we can add and not pass 627. So 412 goes to one more than four, 512. One more than five would be 6, 12, would that pass our end time? No, so we can do that. 6, 12. Can we do another hour? We would be at 7, 12. Eh, eh, too far. So we are done with mountains. We're going to move on to hills. So let's add 10 minutes to a 12. If you're not sure, you could pound and count. Or um, another option is if you have your number grid you could use that so if i'm at 12 10 more i know on a number chart that i that the whole row down would all be 10 like 5 10 15 20 um i'm sorry 5 15 25 35 10 20 30 40 so i could go straight down or i could count across 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 more than 12 would be 22. so let's add a hill and that makes it 622 what if I do another hill? That would make it 632, which is too far. It passes our end time, so we can't do that. That means we are done with hills. We're going to move on to rocks. So now I'm going to add, I'm going to add a rock until I get to 27. So I'm at 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, done, 627. So now I have the start time and the end time. I just got to count this up to see how many um, hours and minutes have passed. What is the elapsed time? So the hours would be one, two, two mountains. So I've got two hours, just like last time. The minutes are going to be the hills and the rocks. How much is a hill worth? 10, we said 10 minutes. So this is 10. And then do we count 10, 20? No, we can't say 20 because these are worth one. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So two hours and 15 minutes is the elapsed time. If this is tricky, you'll get it. We just got to keep practicing. So do your practice work and we'll, um, you'll get it. All right.